three excerpts from The Bible is Not for Children. These characters that were borrowed from a late third century tomb are stand-ins for our ancestors before they met their doom. Let Adam and Eve be every man and every woman too, above the bust but naked before they even knew. How do we know the serpent before we all were cussed? had legs so it could raise itself above the dirt and dust. Why not wings so it could fly like the seraphim? Or did we begin in Africa, as scientists now deem? It reminds me of the saying that you can't go home again, but we discover traces of the past that do remain. We're standing in the gene pools of all the times and places that make us who we are today and leaving our own traces. Why did she have to turn around to watch her city burn? And why was it forbidden when there could be no return? Was it curiosity or merely to remember? Her former home that she had fled had turned into an ember. Reluctance and ambivalence mark this whole affair. If the angels had had their way and slept in the public square, Lot would have had an easier time with their visitation instead of offering his daughters for a lynch mob's molestation. When Lot then warned his sons-in-law, they thought that he was joking. They couldn't believe that their hometown would soon be scorched and smoking. When dawn arrived, the angels had to lead them by the hand, saying, Don't look back and do not stop, now free from this wasteland. Oh, no, 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 Lot pleaded. Can't we stop at a little town? The mountains are too far away. We'll surely be dragged down. Okay, but go, the angel said. Now go and do not slack. They reached the town at sunrise, and that's when she looked back. With mother gone, they flee the town and move into a cave, thinking that the world's destroyed, one giant open grave. Lot's two daughters get him drunk, first one and then the other. Nine months later, each gives birth to a son who's also brother. A comedy of errors, if it weren't so pathetic. The origins of nations, both historic and genetic. Moabites and Ammonites, the birth of those two nations descend from those two sisters and their father Lot's relations. Sex and violence, fire and brimstone raining from above, a narrow escape, a shocking fate, two nights of forbidden love. Parental guidance is advised or even age restricted. It all depends on how this movie's plot would be depicted.